Let's talk about adding a PO. But before we show in the software, let's talk about the way this one is configured. And all this is customizable. So we are now we have three steps in purchasing. First, we have a committed PO, which posts to the commitments book. And what that means is it'll show on reports how much how many dollars are committed to a certain cost code in GL account. And if you get change orders from a vendor that say, okay, we need an extra, you know, twenty thousand dollars to complete this, you can add another committed PO here. Then these committed POs can convert to purchase orders. This is non-posting, but you can merge together multiple committed POs or merge together multiple purchase orders. Then these can convert completely or partially to vendor invoices, and that's when it posts to AP. If we have a purchase order we no longer need, we can also close it out. So let's take a look at how that looks in the system by creating a committed PO. So what we'll do here is we could do it from here, but we'll go to purchasing and we will add a committed PO. So let's add a committed PO for cabinets and kitchens. Let's do it for the project we have in the system, due date net 30. And let's go ahead and add in some hard costs. And let's call this uh, FF and E purchasing. And let's say it's for $40,000. And you'll notice we switched quantity and price. This can be partially converted more easily. And we'll say this is for uh, kitchen cabinets. There are other details we could add here as well, like a memo, and we could mark it billable. Let's also set this for, there we go. Now, if this was a change order from kitchen, custom cabinets and kitchens, if we want, we can tag this checkbox and that'll just flag it in our system that this was a change order. So if we wanted to uh, later come back and see you know, which ones were change orders, we have an ability to filter for that. So let's go ahead and post. This committed PO here for a custom cabinets and kitchens can now convert to a purchase order. Let me go ahead and post it. And then the next step there would be to convert this to a vendor invoice or merge together multiple purchase orders if we wanted to do that. So that is how we enter a PO. And if we want to see what that looks like then on the reporting, we'll see that here under FF and E purchasing, we now have a commitment of $40,000 and no actual spend because it has not been converted yet to a vendor invoice.